In this video, we'll be looking at uh, how plants can respond to herbivory. So herbivory is about how certain uh, animals or herbivores would eat plants uh, as their food source. So uh, plants would have several different things to respond to that. So one of the things is uh, physical defenses. These usually would be something that is innate. I mean, it's already physically there to start with. So examples include um, thorns of a plant, uh, spikes, and hairy leaves uh, as another one. So generally speaking, these things would deter um, um, animals from, you know, herbivores from eating them in the first place because nobody really likes to be poked by any of these things. So these are some natural physical defenses. But a lot of times, actually, plants also have chemical defenses because not all plants have thorns, spikes, or hairy leaves. So for these other ones, they would have to have some sort of chemical defense that Yes, they might be bitten once or might, they might be eaten once, but maybe part of the plant by the animal, but then the animal would taste these chemicals and they would not want to eat the plant again. So there are actually uh, five general ones that we're going to look at today. So the first one is tannins, which, ha uh, which is a chemical that has a bitter taste and it's also toxic to insects. So again, it's about the learning mechanism about how plants realize that they should eat it uh, the second time. Uh, the second one is alkaloids, which again has a bitter taste and is actually poisonous to animals by affecting their metabolism. And actually some of the uh, chemicals that we have nowadays are originally, um, or they are in nature alkaloids, but we as humans uh, use them for different purposes. So uh, four examples that you definitely have heard of is number one is caffeine. So caffeine in tea and coffee is actually an alkaloid and I mean you would realize that it's a bitter taste and I'm sure you would know by taking caffeine or coffee you would become more alert and it's and also affect metabolism in different ways. Um, so having too much isn't a great thing. Uh, nicotine is another example which you can find in tobacco smoke. Again you would know that how nicotine uh, increases or affects our heart rate and makes us become addicted to uh, smoking. Other two examples are morphine and cocaine. Again, you can see sort of how it works. Morphine is uh, a painkiller, although not uh, the, the, the first painkiller we would use because of its side effects, which is quite uh, strong, and people can become addicted to morphine as well. Uh, cocaine, obviously, is a drug. Again, it's the same concept there. A third type is terpenoids, which is a chemical that is toxic to insects and fungi, and they serve as um, they they act as a neurotoxin or repellent towards these things. So actually, humans often would realize that there are some uses to these chemicals that are made naturally by plants, and we can use them uh, to our own advantage. The fourth type is pheromones, and actually, um, animals have pheromones as well. Uh, pheromones generally refer to chemicals that is released by an individual outwards out of the body or out of the plant that affects the social behavior of other members of the same species so this is kind of almost like a way how plants interact or speak to other plants of the same species so for example if a uh, if a leaf or, or, or let's say a plant um, is being attacked by a pest or insects that are being eaten then they would release pheromones to other plants of the same species nearby uh, and it would signal the leaves to make callos, which makes it tougher and less likely to be, or it's harder for the insects to actually bite through. So they affect the social behavior of other individuals of the same species. Whereas the fifth type, volatile organic compounds, or we call them VOCs, they actually does the same thing as pheromones, but affect other species instead. One of the weirdest thing is uh, some plants, let's say when um, they are being attacked by a particular pest, a particular insect. Uh, they can actually release VOCs to attract predators of that particular insect to come along to uh, eat the insect instead. So they are attracting the enemy of the enemy to come along to attack the, the insect that is uh, actually damaging you as the plant. So they're affecting other species like from plant to insects, plants to animals. So these are the five chemical defenses that plants would have uh, to prevent, uh, uh, to respond to herbivory. Finally, one of the other plants that actually gets mentioned quite often is uh, Mimosa pudica. Now, uh, this is the Latin name of uh, the actual plant species. So whenever you are writing this in exams, make sure you underline this. 
and uh, mimosa pudica is a plant uh, that has a folding response when they are being when the leaves are being touched so um there's sometimes people call them shy plants or shy leaves as well because they just literally fold up when they're being touched so it actually scares um animals off um if they didn't know better and uh, or if they have any insects are landing on the leaves and trying to eat it then they would the folding response would just basically um, make the insect slide off or fly off in response which is quite a clever way of preventing itself from being eaten in the first place so here are the uh, different plant responses against herbivory so we have physical defenses uh, the five different chemical defenses which basically all of them is either making it uh, making the plant itself taste really disgusting to the animals so stop them from, be from being eaten again or uh, they are toxic or poisonous or uh, becoming affecting the actual um, uh, physiological responses within the actual animal or releasing chemicals that affect uh, the social behavior of different, uh, different species or, or different animals or plants to alter uh, the outcome or try to warn others in terms of the um, of the danger. Then uh, a specific uh, or special example is uh, Mimosa pudica, which they can fold their leaves when they're being touched to scare up herbivores or to make insects slide off uh, if they are going to be eaten. So here are the responses to herbivory. <laughs> 